Take control of your life. There's too much world out there for you to just exist. We are born to experience life. You were born to be better, to achieve better, to become better, so you can experience more. But just like my daddy told me when I was a kid, no one's going to spoon feed this to you. You've got to take control of your life. Because hard work and tenacity and refusing to quit and chasing your dream, you'll get there, I promise you. Maybe you don't hit the star, but you land on the moon. You don't, don't give up and you go after it and you stop caring about the opinions of people around you. Stop blaming everybody from your hurts. Take ownership of your life. Take off your mask. Don't feed the bear. Make good choices. Be a best friend. Encourage somebody. Be a voice of hope and inspiration. Change takes intentional choices to be different. And if you don't change some things about you, even though you're like, man, that talk hit me. Nothing's going to change unless you take control of your life. This is your moment. One of the worst phrases we've ever created was, you gotta see it to believe it. Can you imagine what the world would be like if everyone believed that this was true? We'd have no cars, no planes, no light in the dark. We'd never have computers or mobile phones. We'd never climb mountains, break records, or go to the moon. I used to believe this rubbish. People have it completely the wrong way round. Nothing can be achieved, conceived until first it's believed. You have to believe it to see it. If there's something that you want to do with your life, that thing deep inside you that whispers day and night, it will always, always just be an idea until you choose to believe it's possible. You have to believe it so much that you already think it's happened. You have to walk like it's there, talk like it's there, believe it's there. Follow your dreams. These people have to see to believe it, but you need to believe it to see it. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the ideas, the dreams, the abilities, the talents given to you by life, and then you, for whatever reason, you never acted on those ideas. You never pursued that dream. You never used those talents. We never saw your leadership. You never used your voice. You never wrote that book. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying, we came to you and only you could have given us life. Now we must die with you forever. If you had six months to live, what would you do differently?